But first tonight, a powerful message in these heightened times of mental health awareness that still much more needs to be done. Norfolk and Suffolk Mental Health Trust has once again been criticised, this time by a group of young campaigners angry at just how long it takes to be seen. Rob Setchell has the story. Chelsea didn't realise she was struggling with her mental health when she ran away from home. She was a teenager then, at the start of a painful five-year fight for the right treatment. Diagnosed with depression and anxiety, she was referred to Norfolk and Suffolk's Mental Health Trust. They said that I needed therapy, um, but that the wait was like a year to a year and a half. They said, if you can pay for it, pay for it. which is horrible <laughs> because I couldn't. <sighs> After spending months on the waiting list, Chelsea tried to take her own life. She came out of hospital only to go back on another waiting list. It feels like you're not a person. You're just like one of presumably thousands of people in the same position. So they're kind of like, this is like, it's this unfortunately normal. So whenever you speak to anybody in it, they're not surprised that you have to wait, which is terrifying. It's no secret that mental health services in Norfolk and Suffolk haven't been good enough. Two years ago, the trust was branded the worst in the country. In its last inspection a few months ago, the Care Quality Commission recognised some improvements, but services for children and young people remained inadequate. And in February, after information from a whistleblower, inspectors came here to the St Stephen's Road unit in Norwich, one of the Trust's 18 specialist community services for young people. What they found was inadequate. Staff shortages, a disconnect between clinical staff and managers, and in an old building, there were even problems accessing the internet to see patient records. There was also huge concern about the length and the accuracy of the waiting lists. The Trust insists it has a plan to accelerate improvements and inspectors did note it was reviewing and combining various waiting lists and scheduling extra clinics at weekends. It's also commissioned website Couth to provide a free online counselling service for 11 to 25 year olds. I'm sat in a really loud waiting room. This film is called While We Wait. It's being put together by young adults with experience of mental health services in Norfolk. Chelsea's one of 10 people who've shared stories of frustration, suffering and loss. The film's director is Alyssa Gervin. Two years ago, she tried to take her own life. She says the system must change. The waiting must stop. If you went to your GP because you cut yourself and you have an infection and they said, OK, uh, that's not great. Um, can you just wait six months and then we'll help you out and you have nothing in that time. In six months they kind of help you and give you some antibiotics. By that time the wounds become infected and it's a whole different problem. People are waiting six months, a year, two years in some cases for help and by the time they get that help it's no longer kind of addresses the issue they have because it's gotten worse in the meantime. Both Chelsea and Alyssa are now feeling better, smiling again with support from family and friends and the frontline mental health staff they eventually got to see. Both of them hope their film inspires change, but both of them wish they'd never had to make it. Rob Setchell, ITV News, Norwich.